The menu controls on the Panasonic Lumix GF2 offer part tap and part touch. The touch comes from the display screen actually being a touch control device that allows photographers to adjust some of the menu items just with the touch of a finger. Now as a photographer myself, there's a handful of those that I really like. Here's one of them. I've got a really nice shot set up here down the wall of this building. And let's say that I want to draw my viewer's attention to this first blue door. Well, what I can do is I can activate the touch shutter command and I can actually tap on the area that I want to create viewer interest. The camera will auto focus on that area and fire the shutter. Now say I want to draw my attention all the way down to that last blue door. Well, I simply locate it on the back of the screen, tap it, the camera focuses and fires there too. Now let's bring it back right up to the center. I'll tap on the middle. And what if I want to have all the doors in focus? Piece of cake. I'm going to just activate the intelligent auto command, which brings up another touch control. And that's my defocus slider. Check this out. This allows me to slide my focus area so that it brings my first door in focus as well as my third door in focus. This is great for photographers that want a slide control to decide how much of their picture they want in focus and how much they don't want in focus. Let me finish this shot for you. I think I've got a good one cooking. I'm going to tilt my camera to the right to add a diagonal component and I'm going to use the touch shutter and place my viewer's attention right between those first two blue doors. Now there's a nice shot. Let me show you another one of the menu controls on the GF2 that I use a lot. And it'll transform regular looking photos into super looking photos. One of the menu items I use more than anything else is the My Colors menu function. And we can access it by hitting the menu button record mode, and then tap the My Colors mode. Now it's hopped into the expressive My Color mode, which will allow me to get amplified colors like this. Then I'll move into the retro mode and the pure My Colors mode. Here's one called Elegant that I use a lot. And of course the Cinema My Colors mode, Monochrome, which is gorgeous, Dynamic Art, Silhouette that I use on metallic objects a lot and you can custom make one any way you like. This allows me to get really creative really quick and it's just one of the professional level functions you'll find inside this compact system camera.